Hi everybody, it's Richard and I'm back for another video and today I'm back to talk about the latest uh thing that's going on with Paul McCartney and Mick Jagger. Um if you don't know what I'm talking about, Paul McCartney recently called uh the Rolling Stones a quote blues cover band in an interview with the New Yorker. And I'm really puzzled why he did this. Um, and I really don't know what he means by a blues cover band. Um, and I'm thinking about it and thinking about it, but, and I really hate to say it, but I think Paul McCartney is, um, jealous of Mick Jagger. Why? Because Mick Jagger... Uh, has not lost anything. He can still go out and give an amazing performance. He can still go out and play, perform for two hours, and he's as good as ever. His voice sounds amazing, and he hasn't lost anything. He's still an amazing front man, and he still gives gives it everything he has. Um, when he goes out and performs, I just saw him two weeks ago. And it was one of the most amazing concerts I've ever seen in my life. And I think Paul might be jealous of them because uh, we all know that Paul's voice is shot. And I don't, he can't really put on a great show. He can't put on a great show anymore. His voice is um, shot. It's been shot for a while. Um, it held up pretty good on Egypt Station. It didn't sound great on Egypt Station, but it held up okay. And it actually sounded pretty good on McCartney 3, but I think that's because of the lockdown. I think not seeing for a while was a good thing for Paul, because I think it helped his voice. But uh, it sounded pretty good uh, on McCartney 3. But uh, we all know Paul's voice has been shot, uh, shot for a while. So I think... Uh, so I don't think... He can't do shows anymore, and I don't think Paul's going to... Um, I don't think Paul is going to, um, return to live shows because I think he would have booked them. I think they would be booked already. I think he would already have, uh, gigs booked, uh, for either this year or the remainder of this year or the beginning of 2022. So I think Paul is done with live performances. I'm sad to say that I think Paul is done with, um, live performances. And I think he's, he may be, he might be envious of Mick Jagger. I really don't get this, why he, um, I really don't get why he said this, and I really don't get why he, um, what he means by the Rolling Stones or a, quote, blues cover band. I don't get what that means. The Stones are not a cover band. They wrote their own music, they performed their own music, they may have, uh, they may have done some covers. They they did a blues cover album, the Blue and Lonesome album, and they may have done some blues covers, and they may have covered other artists, but they weren't. But they are not a cover band by any stretch of the imagination. Um, he said, "Quote." Uh, I he said, "Quote." I hate to say it. That probably something like I hate to say it. I probably shouldn't say it, but the Stones are a blues, are pretty much a blues cover band. They're a blues cover band, and our net uh, stretched, he's talking about the Beatles, our net stretched wider. So I guess he's comparing them to the Beatles, I don't know. Um, and he's saying they were the Beatles net, uh, The Beatles, uh, net stretched wider than the Stones, which I don't know. I, I mean, to me, when the, to me, when the world, I mean, to me, to, to me, when the Beatles first started, they were a pop band. I mean, I know some people are going to argue with me about that, but when the Beatles first started, they were a pop band. That's just my opinion. I mean, I'm not saying I don't... I love the early Beatles stuff. I mean, I prefer the later stuff, but I love the early stuff. Uh, but to me, they were a pop band when they started, so I don't really agree with that. Um, but I just don't know what he means with this. I just don't know why he 
felt like he had to say this. Uh, even if he believes this, I just don't know why he said it. Um, I think it was kind of petty on his part. And I don't think it makes him look very good. Um, yeah, I just don't know why he, he, I just don't know why he, um, what he, um, I just don't know why he did that. I mean, it, I don't think it look, makes him look very good, um, like taking digs as contemporaries. It's, it, it just doesn't make Paul look very good in, in uh, my opinion. And I'm kind of disappointed in, in, in my opinion. Um, I don't like that he uh, went there. And apparently Mick... And apparently uh, Mick did... Um, Mick did... Uh, he did... Um, take a swing back at Paul, he said something, he said something at the Rolling Stones concert in LA at SoFi Stadium, which I don't know exactly what he said, but it, it was kind of a dig at Paul, I guess. And this goes back to the Howard Stone, I guess this goes back to the Howard Stone, Howard Stern show last year, uh, the Howard Stern show last year. If you didn't uh, hear the Howard Stern interview with Paul last year, Howard Stern was trying to get him to say that uh, that the Beatles were better than the Stones, and he he didn't really want to say it. But Howard, you know how Howard Stern is just he just tries to uh, cause controversy. So Paul did eventually give in and say that the Beatles were better than the Stones, but he re didn't really want to say it. But now he's kind of doubling down on it with this blues cover band thing, which I, um, which I don't get. Um, what do you, what do you think? I, what do you think? I, I just don't get why Paul had to go there. I don't get what Paul's point was in saying this. And I really don't like it. I think it's kind of petty. Um, I never really got into that Beatles versus Stones thing. Which one was better, the Beatles or the Stones? Which one, the rivalry thing? I think that's kind of stupid. I love the Beatles and I love the Stones. Of course, if I have to choose one, the Beatles are my favorite. I prefer the Beatles to the Stones. But I love the Stones, so I'm, I love the Stones. They're my top five favorite bands of all time. So I never got into that uh, Beatles versus Stones thing. I think it's silly. Uh... So, I don't know. I, I just, I don't like that Paul went, th I don't like that Paul went there, uh, went here with this. And I really don't get the, quote, blues cover band comment. What is it all about? Um, so let me know what you think. Are the Rolling Stones a blues cover band? Do you think Paul was being kind of petty here? Uh, what do you think? I'm kind of disappointed in Paul. Let me know what you think. Until next time, remember, peace and love. Peace and love is the only way.